Hello and welcome to my home. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make um, air freshener that you can put throughout your house. Uh, the first thing we're going to need of course is baking soda. This is the main odor fighter and we will also need an essential oil of some type, some fragrance. Today I'm going to be using orange. Um, another favorite is lavender for a bedroom. Uh, pretty much anything goes whatever your nose prefers and you'll need a container now you can pretty much use anything this one here I actually made from uh, I think it was a nut container and it worked perfectly it's just a plastic lid that I poked holes in this is a little baby food jar one of the little small um, step ones I believe or meat poke holes in the top of it it works really well you can also use the wide mouthed mason jars uh, all you need to do there is put either a decorative paper or cloth on the top and then put the ring on when you're finished and of course make sure that there's holes in the paper or the cloth uh, just whatever you have around the house um, the main thing you want to look for is a pretty wide rim uh, that's pretty much all you need to look for now these two I have already got some in there but it's time to cha change them out um, you change them out about every oh I'd probably say six weeks or so and since it is just baking soda and essential oils I still keep it instead of throwing it away because it may not have as much odor fighting ability anymore but it still has the scouring and scrubbing ability so I always save it waste not want not all right well I put a lot in that one probably don't need that much in there okay now <clears throat> in the wide mouthed uh, mason jar types and this one for example you probably need only about a half a cup uh, really just enough to I'd say half full maybe not even that that's also along with this and I'm going to go ahead and do that to these and I'll be right back all right I have these with baking soda in them now and then you're going to put in oh I'd say about depending on the fragrance that you use or, or the essential oil that you use um, it can be anywhere from 5 to 15 uh, drops in each one um, this one I'll probably use about 10 one, two, three. all right and this one I'll probably only use about five All right, six. <laughs> all right. And then all you're going to do is give them a quick shake. And you can also put the lid on them and shake them up better if you'd like. And something that I have noticed that helped give them a boost if I'm not quite ready to throw them out. I thought I was repair, prepared. I'll just use my handy dandy chopstick here. Um, if you're not quite ready to throw them out but you want to just give it a little more oomph, just give it a quick stir. Stir it all around. You don't have to do that at the beginning but I'm just demonstrating. And then it's got at least another week left prolonged. And 
there you have it, finished product. And you can lay these in every corner of your home. I have uh, several hidden throughout my bathroom. Uh, well, not several, but uh, two or three. And a couple hidden in the living room crannies. Uh, these aren't very pretty, these ones that I just did. So um, I put them in corners that aren't quite that visible. But you can also do, like I said earlier, the mason jar idea. You can um, put very decorative fabric or paper um, that goes with the decor of that room. That would be really cute and just have out on tables and such. And I hope you enjoy. Have fun.